Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! I'm going to perform the last method of indexing, which is the differential indexing. Differential indexing is used when it is impossible to calculate the required number of divisions by the simple indexing method. That is, when the fraction 40 over the number of divisions to be cut cannot be reduced to a factor of one of the available whole circles. For example, I'm going to cut 127th year. Since there is no 127 whole circle and it is impossible to reduce 40 over 127 to suit any whole circle, it is necessary to select an approximate number close to 127 for which the simple indexing may be calculated. Let the approximate number of divisions equal to 128. So the indexing for 128 divisions equals 40 over 128. And I have to reduce it into 516 or 5 over 16. So 5 over 16 would be our indexing fraction. And the indexing plate to be used is brown and sharp plate number 1. And no other whole circles can be used even in the Cincinnati standard plates. Now let's find for the gear ratio. Gear ratio is equal to approximate number of division minus the required number of division times 40 over the approximate number equals 128 minus 127 times 40 over 128. So the change gears would be 5 and 16. I can change this fraction without changing its original value by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 5 in order to use the available gears supplied with the dividing head. Therefore, for indexing 127 divisions, 25 teeth gear is mounted on the dividing head spindle and a 80 teeth gear is mounted on the worm shaft. I chose 25 and 80 teeth as the change gears because these are the ones available for my dividing head. Alright, I will now install these gears on the dividing head. This is a 25 teeth gear that I will mount on the dividing head spindle. So, kailangan natin ng extension ng kanyang spindle na may install dito dapat sa likod ng spindle. Okay. Tinan nyo, may keyway, dapat may shoot natin dito sa key. Then, I need a spacer. Then, this is the 80 teeth gear which should be installed on the worm shaft. Then, the washer and the nut. Now, paano mag engage to spindle gear and the worm shaft gear? I need to use a so-called an idler gear with any number of teeth, but the same pitch, of course. This is an idler gear para mag-connect ang spindle gear and the worm shaft gear. Dapat tama clearance natin. Then engage na natin sa spindle gear.
Ilock natin ang connecting rod na din. Okay. Take note, when the approximate number of divisions is larger than the required number, the resulting fraction is plus or positive. And the index plate must move in the same direction as the crank, which is clockwise. And this positive rotation is accomplished by using an idler gear, just like what I did. I used 128 approximate number of divisions higher than 127, which is the required number. So, tingnan natin kung iikot ang index plate the same direction as the crank. I will now rotate the index crank clockwise at tingnan natin kung iikot tong index plate clockwise din. Tingnan natin yung chalk. Okay? So, umiikot siya. The same direction. However, if the approximate number of division is smaller than the required number, let's say 126 divisions, the resulting fraction is minus or negative. And the index plate must move in an opposite direction or counterclockwise. And this negative rotation requires the use of two idler gears. Now, ano ang nagpapaikot sa index plate? Sa differential indexing, kagaya ng simple indexing method, the index crank rotates the dividing head spindle and the spindle rotates the index plate. Tingnan nyo, kapag pinihit ko ang index crank, iikot din ang spindle and the work kasabay ang index plate. Kasi ang magpapaikot sa index plate ay ang spindle. This is because of the change gears that I mounted on the dividing head spindle and the warm shaft. Alright, tingnan nyo. Yan. Umiikot ang spindle at ang spindle, pinaikot nyo ang index plate. Okay? Now, after the proper gears are installed, the simple indexing procedure for 128 divisions should be followed. So, balikan lang natin yung procedure natin sa simple indexing method. Okay? Nakamount na ang index plate. The brown and sharp plate number one. Then, the sector arms. Then, the index crank. Then, naka-engage na rin ang index pin natin sa correct whole circle, which is 16. Yan. Then, set ko na ang sector arms. Ibangga ko itong bevel edge ng left arm ng sector arms dito sa indexing pin. Count 5 holes on the 16 hole circle. Say, so, mula rito, hindi kasama kung saan naka-index ang indexing pin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so ilapit ko na yung right arm ng sector arms just beyond the fifth hole. Yan. Then, nalak ko na rin yung set screw dito sa lock ng sector arm. Then, mount the work piece on the three jaw chuck. Okay, nandito na. Supported by the footstock. Then, ilak ko na rin ang spindle na dividing end. I will now cut the first groove with slight nuts only for all divisions on the end of the work to check whether the indexing is correct. Okay, so go back to the starting position. Yeah, unlock the spindle. Then we draw the indexing pin and rotate the index crank clockwise up to the fifth hole. Pero, Ihinto ko bago mag fifth hole, then tapikin ko hanggang mag-engage yung indexing pin sa mismong fifth hole. Okay? Lock the spindle. So the same procedure is our simple indexing method. Okay? Index again. 
Yan. Now, halimbawa lumampas ang indexing pin natin doon sa fifth hole. Kailangan ibalik natin at least half of a turn. Then, forward ulit natin para mawala yung baklas. And the pick. And lock the spin then. And cut. Yeah. Then, i-rotate ko na yung sector arms para ready na tayo sa susunod na cut. Lock this middle. Then, cut. Okay, we will do the same manner for all the remaining divisions. Paulit-ulit lang hanggang matin natin yung required number of divisions, which is 127. Okay, this is for the last cut. Yeah. Okay, check muna natin ang warp piece, whether the indexing is correct. Okay, let's count the number of cuts, whether we obtain 127 Divisions. Okay, simulan natin sa my chalk. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 81, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 118, 19, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, and 127. Perfect. With equal divisions or spaces. Okay, so pwede ko na i-rough cut at i-finishing cut hanggang maatin yung required full depth of the feet. Magiging ganito ang itsura niya kapag natapos. With... The correct whole depth of the teeth. Okay? 127 teeth din ito. Okay? So, that's how we obtain the three methods of indexing. The direct indexing, simple indexing, and differential indexing. So, I hope you have learned from the actual demonstration that I did about these topics. Now, let's proceed to the Q&A portion. 
Prof. Johnny, bakit kailangan gumalaw o umikot ang index plate clockwise or counterclockwise kapag ini-index ang crank? Simple lang ang paliwanag ko. Sa kahit anong index plate ay walang whole circle para sa 127 teeth. Ang dalawang number of divisions na malapit sa 127 ay 126 at 128. At parehong may whole circle na pwedeng gamitin. Ang 127 division ay nasa gitna ng 126 at 128 na dapat sana ay malagyan ng hole para ma-engage ang index pin. Ngunit hindi natin pwedeng butasan ang index plate. Kaya ang pwedeng gawin ay gumamit ng approximate number close to 127. At ito ay 126 or 128. Ang ginamit ko ay 128. Ngayon, para magkaroon ng hole sa pagitan ng 126 at 128 approximate numbers, ay dapat gumalaw ang index plate clockwise upang dalhin ang spot na walang butas sa tapat ng 128 approximate number upang ma-engage ang indexing pin at ma-produce ang required number which is 127 with equal spaces. Prof. Johnny, paano ba gumawa ng spar gear? That's what I will be performing on my next tutorial video in a step-by-step -step procedure. So please keep on watching. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat.